So with the announcement of the Super NES Classic Edition coming out September 29th, we have two consoles coming out this holiday. We have the Super NES coming out September 29th and the Xbox One X coming out on November 7th. So this leads us to our first and possibly final edition of the PPVG Showdown. Between in one corner. Wait, when was the first one? I said the first and possibly last. This is the first showdown. Okay. In the one corner of the Xbox One X, releasing November 7th for $500. Native 4K, supposedly the most powerful console ever made. And that's a fact. That is a fact. In the other corner, we have the SNES Classic Edition, releases Friday, September 29th for $80. Who needs 4K when you're 16-bit? It was originally released, the Super Nintendo was originally released in America in August 1991 for $200. Packed in with Super Mario Worlds. So this is Mike Tyson versus Little Mac. The big, powerful console versus the little, little guy that could. Why'd you use the Nintendo reference? You're already skewing this. Or already you're skewing. Already, you're already, already skewing. I'm already biased of who, who's gonna win. So. The showdown is which console is going to sell the most in its lifetime. In its lifetime, which console is going to sell the most units. Not revenue, but the most units. And Nintendo said they're only planning for 2017, but I predict it'll go a little farther. So it gives you a Nintendo NES class did about six months. Xbox One X. How long do you think the Xbox One X will last until there's a new Xbox console? When you think that's, of not the, Xbox. that's not the question. It was, but no. But to think of how long is the lifespan for Xbox One X to sell? Because we're doing lifetime sales. Who's gonna sell more units in lifetime sales between the Xbox One X or the Super NES Classic Edition? So we have to have a time frame. How long do you think the Xbox One X? It's gonna be significant. That's all I know. It'll be a significant <laughs> amount that it will outsell. Twenty percent. 20, there we go. We're going the Sony route. Uh, no, I, I don't know 20% of what, but it's 20%. That's what I'm at. So how many did the NES sell? The NES. A significant amount. 2.3 million, the NES Classic, worldwide. And this is going to be a significant increase. Yeah, so they're going to do a significant increase. So let's say at least 2.3 so two, mil? 2.3 mil. That's uh, consoles. NES Classic Editions worldwide. And we're consoles. talking about worldwide sales. Not just not just money. I'm talking about consoles. How many consoles? That's 2.3 million two consoles. Three. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That they sold. So they didn't do a significant amount. So what, like 5 million? Would that a significant double? Well, I'm going to tell you this for, this one right now. Xbox is not going to sell very well overseas, like in Japan and so forth. That's, that's always been their... Xbox One X isn't going to sell well anywhere. No offense. It's just, Over it's, the next two years? You don't think it will sell well? It's too early here. It, it's the PS4 Pro. It's not the right thing for the market. I get what it what it fits into, but it's a niche market. It's the Criterion Edition. It's the it's Blu-ray when DVDs were still the rage. Like it's great, and it is a remarkable difference compared to what the base standard is. But when most people are not ready to adopt that, or even looking to to see what the next thing is, they're not going to invest in the future. Like remember when they did HD DVD? And how that kind of crashed but and burned. They, they didn't 100% support it, though. And they didn't really with Blu-ray. Just the the studios went that way because it became the only avenue to, to resell their movies. And that was the whole point. It's kind of like the Nintendo thing of, you already bought it three other times. What's one more? No, but like PS3, like it was ahead of its time with the Blu-ray. It was too expensive. It was ahead of its time, mm-hmm. which... You can say the Xbox One X is ahead of its time. Is, are we ready for 4K gaming? Is there enough 4K TVs out there no. for someone to want to purchase it? There wasn't enough for the PS3 when it came out, but it picked up steam towards the end. And again, most of the, the 4K TV sales you're anticipating are not going to be based the same way that HD was when we had the turnover from standard def TV signals to HD. That was one of the big determining things. We don't have that where now there's a 4K standard that's government mandated to all the TV stations. That's not going to be a thing, so you don't have to worry about that. And most of the people who are going to pick it up now are not the educated, frugal buyers that are looking for that. It's basically who's selling one for 300 bucks 
on on Black Friday. What can I get? Can I get a can I get a forty inch for this? Can I get a fifty five inch for this price? That's what they're going for. Those are not the kind of people who go. You know what I need? I need an Xbox, but I need the one that fits for this TV as opposed to what's the one that fits in so the kids will just stop bitching about buying me an Xbox for Christmas. That's what's going to happen. They're not going to be the educated consumers that you want them to be. That you yourself are. They're not. They're going to be the people that are looking for a steal, and right now is not the time for the One X to have that have that market. So it's not 2017, but we have 2018, possibly 2019, that they will be pushing. And again, you're thinking the the only way I see that happening is if they phase out the S model. If the only one that's available is the One X, because it still plays on on an yeah. HD TV, you don't have half to have the 4K. Price. Half the price. But if you have 4K, it looks that much better. Huh. If they make it the only SKU, then yes. Then yes, it could possibly be it, but otherwise I'm going to say no. Because they just, if it remains a niche market, it's going to stay that way. How long do you think 4K will remain a niche for? It'll be at least another couple of years. I don't see mass adoption. Again, the reason why you saw the big jump to HD was because the standard was government mandated to all those stations to switch from standard def to high def. That is not happening with 4K. It doesn't look like it's likely to happen. It doesn't mean that it's not wonderful, and it doesn't mean it's not something that everybody should be interested in and be chasing and that kind of thing. But right now, there's no reason why you have to. And there's no big jump in the technology where you went from your CRT type of TV to a flat screen. That was one of the big things Those too. Is you went from asses. yeah, you oh. went from oh, this TV is five hundred pounds and it takes fucking three of us heavy. to lift <laughs> to oh no, the thing hand, hangs on one fucking nail anywhere I want in my house. Yeah. That's there's you're you're missing some of the the follow through because you are looking at trends that don't ne- necessarily match up. And to you, four K means a lot more than other people. And again. This is my bias, but I'm an educated consumer. I don't give a fuck about 4K. But you you don't like 4K though, because you said well, exactly. You about so World. again, I'm I'm the kind yeah. of person disposable income, know where the technology is headed, am interested in improvements, and still I'm not in any kind of rush to buy that shit. Because even in HD, like those shows look fantastic, because it's upscaled to 4K, mm. and the TVs on regular HD channels look fantastic. They look incredible on the 4K TV upscaled. I know some might think it's too real. Um, it loses that cinematic experience, which I, I do understand. So you don't need the 4K channels to take advantage of the 4K TV. Mm-hmm. And I think it even really started for last holiday, uh, last Black Friday, when the 4K TVs actually started to come down to reasonable price. Yeah, And it's going to come out this year and next year. They'll keep coming down. It's not going to be adopted fast, but I think more 4K TV is going to be out there after this holiday, after next holiday 2018, where Xbox One X might get a price drop. It might be 400. It, it might, might be 300 by the time. But the new remember, Xbox. even if it's just regular Xbox versus the PS4, you're already playing catch up game Sony versus Microsoft. Then you go into their niche products. You're still pl- you're playing even catch up with the the system that's already playing catch up. Because you're only going to get maybe a quarter of those sales, right? And those awesome. sales are all already kind of paling in comparison to Sony and to Nintendo. And listen, as, as much as I bash on their, their business plan and all that kind of stuff and what I think it means to the industry, it was a sellout item last year. It was in all the news articles. It was one of those hot gifts for the holidays. Oh, the NES Classic? Yeah. yeah. And, and it will be. The SNES, SNES will be, be the same. Yep. Yeah. So with I, long ass fucking lines because Nintendo loves that fucking. So I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this. Let's say that the One X lasts for three years. I'm gonna give it an extra year based on what you're saying. Because it would sell a year after the new Xbox comes out. But let's let's say three years. Yeah. I still think it's gonna underperform the SNES Classic in both actual units sold and revenue. Dang. Yeah. So it's selling for five hundred. The SNES is eighty. Well, again, we're gonna have some price fluctuation, but let's say you're gonna get five hundred. I think that they're gonna make more money off the SNES Classic. And Mo, what's your what's your take? No, I think they're gonna sell more SNES Classics than the Xbox One X. I just, I, I, you know, I, I can't tell you how long it's gonna be for them to create another another gaming console. As far as it's coming out, I know that it's a most powerful console out that's going to be out this this year and 
for however long. We already know PlayStation's working on PlayStation 5, and you know, in a few years that's going to release, and then that's going to be the most powerful console out. And then it's going to be a back and forth battle once again. Um, but the thing is, they're not doing away with, like, even PlayStation said, like, our niche console, the, the Pro, is for those specific people. And when they, they were for the X and as they, well. And, and, you know, that's for those particular Microsoft. people. But not it, it, they're not going to sell, like, it's not a new console. I'm sorry to say. It's not like a brand new, fresh, something that, that whatever you buy for it, it's only going to be on that console. You know, it, it's it's not something that you need. It's it's something that you may want if you do have a 4K. I have a 4K, but I'm not buying into that. Well, I think Microsoft, their next console will be, it's going to be backwards compatible. Yeah. You will be able to play Xbox One because that's something that they're really stressing. Yeah. That well, you get to play all generations of Xbox. I, I would also, say. Also, but Sony had that plan too when they abandoned it. So. Yeah. Um, and there's no doubt that they should do that as well. But once again, like, if I'm looking for newer stuff, I'm not looking for the past stuff. I already have the past stuff. That's why I'm keeping my consoles and I keep my games. I don't go and trade them in. A lot of a lot of people trade in those games. And they bitch about that they can't go back and play them. And I'm like, well, how the fuck did you trade in your console to begin with? That's just my logic. They were That's, keep up with the that, new stuff. That was, yeah, right. They were going to keep up with the new stuff. But they still want the old stuff. Look, I kept my old stuff for, for a reason. Me you know. I, I keep all. Of I have my PlayStation Two, and I have all my PlayStation Two classic. I don't need uh, a PlayStation Four to come in and bring in all these PlayStation Two classic. I, if I want to, I can go play them. My PlayStation Two works fantastic. Your laser yeah. still works. Yeah, everything, everything still. How many works. PS2s did you have? Was that your original? Or did mm, you? I had. Well, I had. I had two, okay. but one didn't break. One broke. Because it broke out of the person that I was dating at the time. She fucking broke it. Ooh. Yeah, she fucking stepped on that shit. So that's Wait, another she story. She stepped on your PlayStation? Oh, yeah, she broke the shit out of it. On purpose. So. Like, fuck you for being a gamer. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, pretty much. It's pretty much how that you went. You care about these more than me? Yeah. Whatever. Pretty much that's how that went. But. It's just like you go and you take all their makeup and you put it on the fucking toilet. Yeah, they always love that, too. And that's one reason why, why you know, we <laughs> broke up a while. Oh, and she went and bought the, a new one. By the way, I forced her to. <laughs> Someone is traumatized yeah. on this experience. Yeah, no, but yeah, Sony, Jesus. I have a. I still have the the, the what's it called the the slim. I have the PlayStation Two slim. The slim, that thing was small. Yeah, it's tiny. It's weightless. Doesn't it's weight powerful. anything. Don't judge it's it based very, on the size. Exactly, it's not based on the size. Yeah, but so still have it. Still have all my games. So the Super NES Classic, two point three. The NES Classic sold. How much do we think the lifetime for the Super NES Classic? It'll probably be out for six months. Mm. I say they're not making more than three million units in the first uh, place. Also, so a significant amount. Yeah, seven hundred thousand more. I still stop selling by like March, maybe. If not sooner. But yeah, yeah. when they'll make the like end of February. They already Fuck let you us. Nintendo they've already fans. let us know, oh. and it won't be possibly the same hype, and they're gonna make more. So you might not have that same rush if I can't find them anywhere, which caused them to do that extra shipment. But still, I'm going to say the most that they will make, best case scenario, is $3 million. That's still going to beat the Xbox One X. So even in three years, the Xbox One X worldwide will not sell. I see more hype million. in the news for this classic SNES than I did for Xbox. Yeah. I'm just saying. And, and people have been hyping up the Xbox One X for so long. But that was hearsay. That was stuff that they wasn't just releasing. They were just like saying, oh, okay, they released it in spurts, which was... The, the, what's it called? The six teraflops and this, and the graphics and the core and all that shit. And then I really, I didn't feel like the excitement as I do for, for this. Well, as right now there's no games that are, it's necessary. And like I said, you're the secondary console. You're already trying to prove your value for your, your primary. And this is, this is the, the extra, the ancillary, the niche market. And look, I don't want to hear a fucking word about exclusives because most of them are fucking indie games. World like most exclusive. Of them. Most Mo. of them. Mo, world exclusive. Don't give a shit. That doesn't mean that it's exclusive to Xbox, you motherfuckers. No. Just saying that. Okay. <laughs> to, to give you a different metaphor, movies. Okay? You take Moonlight, an Oscar award winner for pick, best picture this last year. Or Transformers The Last Night, which had the worst opening in the history of that franchise, 
It's By still going to make more money, and it had a much higher budget, so there's more advertising costs, more of the actual production costs. It will still make more money than Moonlight ever did, which was considered the best picture of 2016, just because it caters to a different market. It's not just a niche, and it, it kind of caters to, to all possible customers. Moonlight is not that movie. Moonlight is not going to sell well in China. Moonwell, Moonlight's not going to sell well in Russia, in the UK. Even in the U.S., it's going to have some struggles. Transformers is going to be mediocre, but it's still going to get ticket sales to justify its continued existence. And it doesn't mean it's a better movie or that you know they're bad or that the people who lose to them are bad. It just They're going for different markets, and that's what the Xbox One X is. It's a different market than the SNES Classic. The SNES Classic is someone going through Best Buy or whatever, and they go, oh, I remember that. I've got $80. Hopefully. That's what happened with the NES Classic. Would you not agree? No, no, as in you're not going to be able to walk through a store and see the SNES. You're going to okay, have to wait but you, but you, But you get my point, though, is that yeah. that's that's what they're yeah. trying to get is that nostalgia pop. How many, Mo just said, how many articles are you seeing about the SNES Classic already? They, they blew no. up. And blew the Xbox up One X is kind of a thud. It's but it, a, it was the same for the NES. Like, this is a marathon and not a sprint. And that's, I'm, I'm actually choosing Xbox One X that I think they will outsell the Super NES because of supply. If, the, if Nintendo does it right, there's no chance. As in do it right, as in they have a large supply. Like if they had five million, ten million, what do you? What's your number that you're looking for? Um, so it's two point three. I'm thinking a significant amount is four million. Is what I think they I will. Could like close to five, just to just to kind of round so up. You're saying I'm saying close 80, to four. They an eighty percent increase in their production from the, the previous. And, and they they did state that they're starting now. Like as soon as they release, that no, they're, they're starting. doing. Um, no, but I'm, I'm saying put. I'm saying like three point seven five. But that's I'm where going. I'm saying like significant in the business world is not eighty percent. Significant in the business world is three to five percent. Because I think if if it was to be close to five million, they say we're gonna double. They'll let everyone know we're gonna double our supply, which they didn't say double a significant amount. Mm. I'm saying four million, like maximum four million. Yeah, I'm thinking like pushing like three point seven five. So then, what are you okay. thinking? Let's say three years again for the Xbox One X. What are you saying? 4.5? You talking 6? You talking 9? Because the price is going to come down. Like holiday of 2018, I think they'll drop and it to 400. And you're going to have more people adopting 4K. More adopting for like 2019. They need all the perks. Because uh, probably 2020 is when the new uh, PS5. Because PS5, Sony, they can just ride this generation. And, yeah. And they can agreed. make it to 90 million. And PS3 they, sold 80. And this is not They're a slam on any console. It's just that this is what we see. You know, this is yeah. not... Is It's not like saying yeah, it it's gonna going to fucking suck or anything, or anything like, like, like that. that. It's just... We're just But there's trying been to... some poor management decisions in this generation for Microsoft. And yeah. it started with the launch of the console originally. Where of they the had the 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 DRM problems yeah. and all that kind of stuff. When, when they, they got first announced the console, Microsoft has been... And they were riding a big wave and the they threw that lead away. That's the problem. Uh, so to give you an answer, so I'm predicting like 4 million maximum for the Super NES edition. I do think Xbox, again, it's very niche. And the, the majority of the sales... I don't know how many sales Xbox One. Last time I read was like 25, 26. They might be at that 30 million or over 30. And how many for PS2 or PS4? So uh, the last day, no, like 60.4 million. Okay. I think that was last month. It's Because it's more than double. 64.4. Yeah, 60.4. Yeah, 60. Oh, uh, it, 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 it was almost... I was on two to one. Yeah. yeah. It, was, it was almost two-thirds more. Yeah. But then Microsoft, when they came out with the S and lower, they, they were winning Caught a, a few months. Bit. But again, yeah. if you win by 100,000 here, you're not going to catch up yeah. by 30 million down. Yeah. But I do think Xbox One X will be more the standard when 4Ks do come out and the price will lower. I think that will be the go-to console um, for the definitive games, whatever that is, starting next year in 2018, not 2017. So, but you're you're assuming that everybody's going to program for that as opposed to what I just The majority is going to be which... Xbox One S. No, but I just mean in general. Like when you're making stuff, they're not announcing exclusive partnerships. So you're building stuff that's going to run on both platforms. So you're running it. You're trying to get the PS4 and the PS4 Pro, and you're trying to get the Xbox One S and X. You're not you're not making a special edition that's only the X. You're relying on that, but you're still trying to fit it in the constraints and the budget of I'm making it for the S or I'm making it for the standard PS4. That's where I'm arguing that your your theory on adoption, 
you're assuming that the games are going to look that much better. They will look better, but I don't think it's going to be the that market much than PS4 version Pro. that you think it is. Because well, when people buy a 4K, they'll get the PS4 Pro than the Xbox One X. Well, we'll do. <laughs> it's funny because we'll do a, a contrast compare because you you have an Xbox now. When you when you um, once you get the Xbox One X, we'll we'll put in the video game on both Xbox, just the the regular Xbox uh, One, and then the Xbox X. And see how how much of a big difference it is. I'll bring the S as well and see what the big difference between the one S and the X. I'm just I'm just saying. IGN will do it for me. Well, they always do, right? They're gonna be like, this is the difference. No, they and do PS4 and, and then, Xbox yeah, they're one gonna X do the PS4 well. Pro and all that and see the difference. And if you see no fucking difference, then why would you spend the extra money? That's gonna be a fucking bomb. I'm just saying, like I'm not trying to slander or anything. I've read some previews them. about. Um, like, you know, on IGN and uh, other people who went to E3 and saw 4K gaming mm-hmm. um, and just said how incredible it looks. And I, I love 4K, um, so I'm a big believer. But how big of a difference will it make? That's... Yeah. I've never seen a game in 4K. Yeah. In native, yeah. In native, yeah. And I'm not talking yeah. about on on my 4K TV when I watched they you know, 4K video. They have a main yeah. one. Because they have some video, like Shadow of War, I think, well, we that was in 4K. Technically, right now, we don't have a native 4K system, so they wouldn't have coded anything, unless it was PC, which we're not yeah. considering in this conversation, and you're Correct. not a PC gamer yeah. anyway, so. Yeah. But uh, Xbox One X, probably 5 million at the end of its life. Again, I, that's the reason why I think they're going to have a slow start. This is going to be slow in 2017 even 2018 i don't think the momentum would build until holiday 2018 is when i think the build for the xbox one x but when all is said and done probably around five million it'll be close I'm but i wouldn't be surprised if it falls on space 40 percent of your customer base is going to be in the first six months and then it's going to fall up from there uh, yeah it'll take three years to get that whole hundred percent of that customer base yeah. but it's not going to be the number you think it is i'm going to say it's 40 percent is the first is possible months, so when we get to the, the end of fiscal 2017, let's look at the number there. and then yeah. I think that's a better view. No, but I can absolutely see Xbox One X just falling on its face and being a disaster uh, for Microsoft. I can see that When they didn't well. announce any games, that's what I know. Uh, but they have 2018. They do have some time to show what games can actually come out. But remember, you've got to entice those people that they've got something that is worth spending their money on not putting it out for the, the number yeah. one console. Yeah. So. Well, this is what I'm saying is I'm just waiting for E3 next year and see what happens then. E3 just in and we're waiting for next year. Because this see. year was you, Xbox, you did nothing for me. You were trying to buy me, and you did not buy me. I'm sorry. Well, you're done. You're going PC. I am going PC. And they, they insulted me, so I was clearly in the pocket for them, and now I've gone the other way. So. So we see we got two saying the Super NES will win the showdown. I'm going with the Xbox One X. We'll see if I have too much faith in 4K. Mm -hmm. It is very possible that I do. It can go either way. And we'll come back in three years and we will uh, touch back on this. Sure. Have a little... And if if, you're right, then I'll buy you a Subway sandwich. Aw. Thanks. It's going to be a 6 inch, not the (laughs) 4 What about 24 inches? No, that's for me only. I can't have the 24 inch sub. Does that even... Capriotis? Yeah, they have it. (laughs) They have it. So that is... I can't hide enough right now. <laughs> so that was, this goes out to the public, right? Yeah, it goes out to the public. They know that I love you both. And I always will. <laughs> what? Platonically. Platonic. I'm, I'm a married man. Not to either one of us. I'm a married man. Well, yes, so that's clear. I did try and get married to my best man during my wedding. So I saw that. Yeah, that was... Doug that was, was all for it. Uh, yeah, yeah he was ready. ready. Yeah. <laughs> He's a good man, but dude, you get it. So that was our first PBBG showdown between Xbox One X and the Super NES Classic Edition. Please let us know in the comments below who you think will have the most lifetime sales between the two consoles.